Young at Heart by Pam Young A little gin just might improve your marriage. Okay, I'm not a marriage counselor, so I probably shouldn't be going around giving advice to married couples, especially since I'm on my second marriage and so is my husband. But the idea of letting a little gin improve your marriage is really a good one, at least for Terry and me, and I thought I'd share with you why it is. You probably should know that Terry is a workaholic, because that's one of the reasons I came up with this idea in the first place. He's never without his cell phone or iPad, and he looks at weekends as catch-up days to finish all the work he didn't accomplish during the week because of overbooking. It seems when each day comes to an end, his to-do list is longer because for every task he crosses off, he adds a couple more jobs. I realized early on in our marriage, which is on its 25th year, that if I were going to get any attention from him, I'd have to get on that to-do list or at least find a way to sneak into his daily routine. That's where the gin comes in. Gin rummy, that is. It's such a fun, easy card game that doesn't require a mind that can count cards in order to win. I think I introduced the cards on a weekend in an effort to get him into a playful mood. Workaholics don't think about playing unless it's on a list. What happens when we play cards is magic. First of all, there's competition. We play four hands every day except Sunday when we play six hands, and we keep a running score through the week with a winner on Sunday. Second, while we're playing, we tend to talk about lighthearted issues like we did this morning. It happened to be April 1st, and I put a 12-inch length of string in his scrambled eggs as a joke. It was almost a joke on me because I honestly thought he was going to swallow it. Gad, I wasn't sure your tongue was going to find the string when you were eating your eggs, and I started to get scared you were going to swallow it. And if I had? Well, it wouldn't hurt you. I'd just have to think up another joke. What'd you think when your tongue found it? Well, I wasn't thinking about April Fool's Day, but when I pulled it out of my mouth and you started giggling, I knew you got me. Just a little aside, I don't think guys like tricks played on them, so maybe if you're having marital problems, you might want to consider not making a fool out of your spouse just because it's a day to celebrate fools. Back to the gin. Now that playing gin is a habit and it's part of our morning routine, I get to look forward to having playful, quality time with my workaholic spouse every day. Oh, and if, God forbid, our routine gets derailed and we don't play in the morning, Terry insists we play before the day is out so he'll be able to cross it off his daily to-do list so he can get a good night's sleep. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.